This video provides a tutorial of a soil monitoring system. That is a system that monitors moisture in the soil and will give you an indication of when a plant needs to be watered. Uh, it gives you two visual indications. One with an LED that's red if it um, needs watering and green if everything's okay. It also gives you an LCD uh, display. It uses an Arduino uh, processor and a 16 by 2 LCD display that is uh, 16 characters and two lines. It also contains a soil uh, sensor that the processor can monitor, read a value, and use that to trigger indications of the state of the soil. It also has um, software that controls the, um, the system itself. And I'll go over all of the hardware and at the end do a brief overview of the code. This is a view of a circuit that's used to detect moisture and it can be used to determine if a plant needs water or not. And this view, you see the entire circuit. On the right, you see uh, two cups. One has moist soil, the other has dry soil. And as you can see, there's a probe which is a sensor that's plugged into the moist soil and it's wired into the processor here the uh, Arduino Uno and the Uno reads the input and a program detects a value and determines that uh, in this case the soil uh, is moist and it doesn't need any water and on the display you can say see plant monitor moisture good and if I take it and insert the probe into the other it will uh, give us a different message so let's see the other thing is notice that the green light is on. It's another indicator to, to say that things are good. Uh, now I'm going to switch to the other scenario. Notice now that the probe is inserted into the soil that's dry. And accordingly, the program has turned on the red light to indicate that there's a problem. If you look at the display, it says, please water now. Just to refresh, we have a sensor. which is uh, used to monitor the moisture from the soil. And in this case, it's plugged into the dry. And the processor will detect the fact that the soil is, in this case, dry. It turns on a uh, LED, red one in this case, and it gives a message. Um, I'm going to give you a short view of the code and what it looks like. Uh, not in great detail, but just to show you. There's about a, one page of uh, code that takes care of this entire function.
This is the code that's used to control the hardware for uh, a moisture sensing circuit. And I talked about that earlier. The top part of the code here, starting at this point, is uh, comments. It tells what the circuit does and it tells what the program does, gives you indications of values used, identifies pins and what they will be used for. Uh, the source was written by Frank Hill on February 7, 2016. It uses a uh, liquid crystal library that was created uh, April 18, uh, 2008 by David Mellis and was modified in July 2009 by Lamore Fried. Um, and comments go down to this point. This, uh, uh, and this is the library mentioned before. And the, this is some initialization code that identifies which pins on the Arduino are used for various functions. And this is the setup portion, which starts the program up, does some setup before it starts to run in this continuous loop. Uh, things like, uh, well, in this case, it just starts up the, the display. And then this line prints on the first line of the display uh, a description of what the circuit actually does. It's a plant monitor. And then we clear the second line. Um, this segment here identifies the pins. And it says, is the pin an output or an input? In this case, it's an output. And this is the pin that's actually on the processor, which means that the processor will actually send uh, signals to that pin. In this case, turn the LED on or off. And here's a second pin, one to indicate that the, uh, the plant needs water. Here is uh, a communication setting. And this starts an operation that the program can communicate with uh, an external monitor needed for debugging and that kind of thing. Uh, and at this point, we get into our main loop, and this main this loop runs again and again, uh, continuously, until you shut the device down. In this case, it's just setting the cursor to a starting point. The cursor on the the um, the LED, um, the LCD um, display, uh, the display where you see all the text information. This line reads the value from the pin that's connected to the soil. And it uses that value to determine whether the soil is wet or dry. If the, if the value is greater than 849, then that means that the soil is dry. And we turn on an LED, in this case a red LED, which indicates that the uh, soil needs water. We also print a message to the LCD display, display that says please water now. Otherwise uh, we turn the red light off which says you know, that's not a problem with water. We have another check that says if the sensor value from the soil is less than 850. Let's turn on the um, LED that says the soil is moist and high just means turn it on and then we print a message which says moisture is good if that's not the case then we turn that LED off and finally we delay operations for about a half second and then we go up to this point where, uh, where the loop is here and we start again and we do the same thing 
again and again until the power is turned off. Um, again, this, this circuit is going to be a project uh, to be completed by students in the BDPA computer camp, and they will learn how to uh, design the circuit. They'll learn all of the components and what they do and actually uh, construct and debug code to make it work. And this should take place around the seventh week of camp. I will have, in a week or so, I'll have this code on the uh, website and uh, some contact information so that if you want more information about it, or you can. Uh, or you can comment. This is going to be put on YouTube, so you can comment on YouTube. Uh, okay. Um, stay tuned for more projects like this, and thanks for watching.